Hello students and welcome you all to this video lecture series on chapter camps. In today's lecture we are going to see the problem on construction of camp profile with the roller follower and having a different motions during the out stroke and return stroke. So here we will see one problem having a roller follower and the motion is SHM during the rise and uniform acceleration and retardation motion during the fall. So let us start with the problem. Question. Construct a profile of a cam to suitable following specification the camshaft diameter is 40 mm least radius of the cam is 25 mm therefore here it is given as the radius of the base circle is equal to 25 mm we will write immediately in the given data diameter of the roller is equal to 25 mm therefore radius of the roller will become 12.5 mm angle of the lift is equal to 120 degree that means angle of lift and angle of outstroke are same so theta o is equal to 120 degree angle of fall is equal to 150 degree angle of fall is nothing but angle during the return stroke of the cam therefore theta r is equal to 150 degree lift of the follower is equal to 40 mm lift of the follower is nothing but a stroke s is equal to 40 mm is given comma the number of pauses are two of the equal interval between the motion so here it is given that number of pauses are two of the equal interval between the motion that means the 12 periods are two it is given in this sentence and these 12 periods are of the equal interval so here angle of outstroke theta o is 120 and return stroke theta r is equal to 150 the summation of these two will become 270 so 360 minus 270 remaining angle will become a 90 degree so we know that the two dwell periods will include the 90 degree rotation of cam uh, so these are equal intervals between these motions of dwell therefore 90 degree divided by 2 we will get 45 degree that means dwell periods are of equal interval that is equal to 45 degree that we have got from that sentence Next, during the lift, the motion is SHM. So, during outstroke, the motion is given as a simple harmonic motion. During the fall of the motion is uniform acceleration and deceleration. That means during the return stroke, the motion is uniform acceleration and deceleration. The speed of the camshaft is uniform. The line of stroke of the follower is offset 12.5 mm. So here offset distance is given as 12.5 mm from the center of cam that we will write in the given data. So here in this problem we have got that there is a roller follower and the motions of this follower is different for the different stroke. For the out stroke it is SHM and for the return stroke it is uniform acceleration and deceleration. So in problems there may be different types of combinations here for out stroke and return stroke motion are possible according to that just change will be there in the displacement diagram so let us start solving this problem with the first step that is a displacement diagram in first displacement diagram we have to plot one rectangle having x-axis drawn with the angular displacement of the camp and on y-axis there would be stroke of the follower so here on x-axis we will take the certain scale that is 1 cm is equal to 20 degree on y-axis we will take the suitable scale that is 1 cm is equal to 10 mm so we will draw this first line ax equal to 360 degree because we have taken a 20 degree as a scale therefore this ax line will become of the 18 cm there on that ax line as distance will be the outstroke is equal to 120 degree this will become a 6 cm with the help of scale ST distance is 45 degree, TP distance is 150 degree, with the help of scale it will become a 7.5. Next PX will be the remaining distance, here ST and PX are given as a 45 degree, we have already discussed in the problem, this angle is directly not given, indirectly they have said during the dwell periods, remaining distance or remaining angles are equally distributed that's why remaining angle here is 90 degree and that is equally distributed that's why st is 45 degree and px is also 45 degree with the help of scale draw these lines of st is equal to 
5 and here px is equal to also sorry 2.25 and px is also 2.25 centimeter on y axis ax dis sorry ay distance is equal to 4 centimeter because scale on this y axis we have taken 1 centimeter is equal to 10 mm and stroke is given as a 40 mm therefore ay distance will become a 4 centimeter and join all these lines so that we can make one rectangle shape and in that rectangle shape we have represented the lift that is outstroke by as distance pause that is nothing but dwell period by st distance fall that is nothing but return stroke by tp distance and pause nothing but a dwell period by px distance so this is our first step in which we have drawn one rectangle with the help of suitable scale second step is to divide these angular displacements during the outstroke and return stroke into any equal even number of parts so here we will divide this outstroke and return stroke into six equal parts here it is easier to divide the six equal parts because during outstroke the distance is a six centimeter six centimeters divided into six equal parts and given the names as one two three four five six during the return stroke also that distance we have divided into six equal parts and given the name as a 0 dash 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash and 6 dash draw the vertical lines passing through these equally divided points this is our second step in third step as the follower is having the follower is having simple harmonic motion for the outstroke therefore we will first draw the displacement curve during the outstroke only therefore as the procedure is there for simple harmonic motion draw one semicircle at the one of the end of that displacement diagram with the diameter a y so by taking center c dash we have drawn one semicircle with the diameter a y that is 40 mm we have drawn one circle semicircle and next step from that semicircle divide this semicircle into six equal parts as semicircle you know that it is equal to 180 degree so 180 degrees divided into six equal parts it will become 30 degree therefore 30 degree each that we have divided into six equal parts so give these names as uh, a b c d e small a b c d e names from that next step is to draw the horizontal lines from that small points a b c d which are intersecting to the vertical lines drawn through the point 1 2 3 4 5 6 so wherever these horizontal lines drawn from small a b c d are intersecting to these vertical lines give the names to the point as a capital a small sorry capital a capital b capital c capital d capital e and capital f and last capital g these are the points on the displacement curve during the outstroke and next step is to join this point with the help of smooth curve and this we will get a required displacement diagram during the outstroke or lift so this we have drawn only half displacement diagram wherever outstroke is having a simple harmonic motion during the return stroke now we are having the uniform acceleration and deceleration therefore the procedure for drawing the displacement diagram during uniform acceleration and deceleration is to divide the central line here central line is a three dash during the outstroke sorry during the return stroke central line is three dash that central line we have divide we have to divide into six equal parts therefore here 40 mm is this three dash to f dash line this 40 mm line we have to divide into six equal parts we can easily divide into six equal parts if it is difficult for you to divide it into six equal parts follow the same procedure whatever we have done in the previous few videos that is draw one line with the four with the 15 or 20 degree mark the six equal points on this inclined line join this sixth point to f dash then for draw the parallel lines to each equally divided point so that this point will divide this vertical line 3 dash f dash into 6 equal parts if it is difficult to divide this 40 mm into 6 equal parts then you want to do this procedure 
so here it is easier to do or to divide the 40 mm into six equal parts that's why we have directly plot this point a dash b dash c dash d dash and e dash so in next step after dividing this into equal parts we have to join this point to the p and h point how to join these p points to p and h we have to join a dash point to p p dash point to p c dash point to p similarly this c dash point to h d dash point to h e dash point to h like this we have to join the points and wherever these inclines lines incline lines cuts this vertical lines passing through 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash there we are marking the points as a j k l m n and p so these points are on our displacement diagram during the return stroke therefore we have got this point and in next step we have to join this point with the help of smooth curve this curve will be the our displacement diagram during the return stroke therefore finally we have got a one curve a b c d e f g h j k l m n p this sorry after p up to x also this total curve is our displacement diagram during the outstroke and return stroke having the uniform uniform sorry having shm during the outstroke and uniform velocity sorry uniform acceleration and retardation during the return stroke so this we have drawn a displacement diagram in next step we have been asked to draw the profile of the cam when the axis of follower is offset by 12.5 mm from the axis of camshaft so as usual our first step is to draw the base circle whatever base circle diameter is given that is 50 mm here 25 mm radius base circle we have drawn in first step in second step we have to draw the offset circle offset circle of radius it is given in the problem as a 12.5 mm that we have drawn and from that 12.5 mm we have drawn one dotted line also so that in third step at that dotted line by taking the OA as a radius of prime circle and this vertical dotted line wherever they cut that point we will call it as a A point that is the tress point so after drawing a base circle offset circle we have to draw the prime circle and the diameter radius of that prime circle is equal to OA that can be found by minimum radius of cam plus half of the diameter of roller because here it is a roller circle that's why we are drawing that prime circle if here is a knife edge follower then this trace point will be on this base circle only so here wherever this vertical offset line 12.5 line cuts to that base circle this point will be a point whenever whenever it is a knife edge follower this point will become a point but here as roller is there so we have to draw here one roller at center point a and this a point we are calling it as a tress point and whatever circle it joins or makes with the radius oa this circle is called as a prime circle this we need to draw in case of roller follower only this is the third step wherever we have to draw the prime circle and on that prime circle we have to mark the point a this is the third step so now we have to draw the roller circle at that trace point with the radius equal to 12.5 as given in the problem that is the radius of the roller the next step is to draw the all angles from OA line in anti-clockwise direction because we are considering that this cam is rotating in clockwise direction when in the problem it is not given the direction of rotation of cam assume that cam is rotating in clockwise direction if cam is rotating in clockwise direction place all the angles starting from left side that is to the left side of OA plot the 120 degree angle for the outstroke then 45 degree angle for the first dwell then 150 degree angle for the return stroke so these three angles will draw and remaining angle will be as usual remaining 45 degree only so this will be the all angles we have plot for the outstroke and return stroke from OA line 
In next step, divide these angular displace. Sorry, divide these angles AOS and O. Sorry, TOP. That is angles of outstroke and return stroke. We have to divide into six equal parts. As the angle is 120 degree for the outstroke, 120 divided by six, it will become a uh, 20 degree each. So we will mark one, two, three, four. 5 and 6.120 degree each from OA line similarly on this return stroke that is 150 degree angle divided by 6 and mark this angle whatever you have got into 6 equal parts so this is our 6th step next step don't join this point to the center point as there is offset we have drawn an offset circle from offset circle draw the tangent line passing through these points 1 2 3 4 5 like that draw all the join all the points by an offset circle join this point 1 2 3 4 5 6 with the offset circle by tangent line similarly during the return stroke also draw this by the tangent line 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 6 dash all points with the help of tangent line and next step we have to take the distances from the displacement diagram and we have to mark this in the cam profile so which distances you have to take here from this one point to b point this distance take in the compass and from this one point in the cam profile diagram mark this b point on the vertically extended line so on this extended line as a b point similarly take the distance from 2 to c 2 to c in the compass from this two point mark the distance as a c similarly this 3 to d distance take this in the compass and mark this on this line as a d distance similarly 4 to e take this in the compass and mark this from 4 on this line and name it as e point Similarly, for return stroke also, from 0 dash to h, take this distance in the compass. From 0 dash to h, mark this as h point. From 1 dash to j, take this in the compass and mark this point as a j. Similarly, all points should be marked now. Mark these distances and give the names to these points as a capital A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H, J, K, L, M, N, P. So after getting all these points, next step is next step is to draw the circles for the roller follower. So these circles you can draw complete circles or semicircles also by taking the centers at A, B, C, D, E, F, G points. Similarly, for outstroke also H, J, K, L, M, N, P. Take these as the center and draw the semicircles of the radius equal to 12.5 because 12.5 is the radius of our roller follower so if we join all these center points of all these rollers then that curve we can call it as a pitch curve but we are not drawing here for avoiding the simplicity to have the simplicity and next step is to join all the bottoms of this roller circle sorry roller followers so that we will get one smooth curve and that curve is called as a cam profile here so after joining all these bottoms of circles a b c d e f g h j k l m n and p we will get one profile that profile it is called as now cam profile here so this is our required answer so <clears throat> similar kind of one more problem i have given here for the homework solve this problem and write the answers in comment box write the cam profile take the snapshot of that cam profile and put here in the comment box now the question i will read here it is the required to set out the profile of the cam to give the following motions of the reciprocating follower with the flat mushroom faced mushroom contact face that means here it is given as a follower of a flat face type the follower to have the stroke of 20 mm S is given as equal to 20 mm during the outstroke sorry during the 120 degree of cam rotation that means <coughs> first 120 degree that is theta O is equal to 120 
second follow to dwell for the 30 degree of cam rotation that means dwell period is given firstly 30 degree next third follow to return to its initial position during 120 degree of cam rotation that means theta r is given as 120 degree again fourth follow to dwell for the remaining 90 degree of the cam rotation that means again dwell period is given as equal to 90 degree the minimum radius of the cam is 25 mm so base circle radius is given as 25 mm the outstroke of the follower is performed with the simple harmonic motion and the return stroke with the equal uniform acceleration and retardation that means here during the outstroke that follower is performing simple harmonic motion but during the return stroke it is performing the uniform acceleration and retardation motion different motions during the outstroke and return stroke so similar type of problem we have seen before this in that problem roller follower and same type of motions are there but here flat face follower and same motions are there so try to solve this problem i have given here what type of displacement diagram it is there and and what type of cram profile it is there when the axis of follower is passing through the axis of camshaft so this kind of roller sorry flat face follower problem we have seen previously if you have not seen that problem please check that video the link is given in the description box you will get this answer easily so thanks for watching this video if you are in it having doubt write in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you all